Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series, where I preview and predict every men's college basketball conference tournament. This is going to be the 27th of 32 episodes. We're almost there. Now up is the Pac-12, which is going to be a good tournament. It'll be held at the T-Mobile Arena in Paradise, Nevada. Same um, arena as the Vegas Golden Knights, right on the strip. Um, I'm going to go over the seedings right now for that tournament. Um, your one seed is the Arizona Wildcats, number two in the country, 28-3 and three on the year, 18-2 and two in conference play. Your two seed is the UCLA Bruins, 23-6 and six on the year, 15-5 and five in conference play, number 13 in the country. Your three seed is the USC Trojans, 25-6 and six on the year, 14-6 and six in conference play. Your four seed is the Colorado Buffaloes, 20-10 and 10 on the year, 12-8 and eight in conference play. Your five seed is the Oregon Ducks, 18-13 and 13 on the year, 11-9 in conference play. Your six seed is the Washington Huskies, 16 and 14 on the year, 11 and 9 in conference play. Your 7 seed is the Washington State Cougars, 18 and 13 on the year, 11 and 9 in conference play. Your 8 seed is the Arizona State Sun Devils, 14 and 16 on the year, 10 and 10 in conference play. Your 9th seed is the Stanford Cardinal, 15 and 15 on the year, 8 and 12 in conference play. Your 10 seed is the California Golden Bears, 12 and 19 on the year, 5 and 15 in conference play. Your 11 seed is the Utah Utes, 11 and 19 on the year, 4 and 16 in conference play. And your 12 seed is the Oregon State Beavers, 3-27 and 27 on the season, 1-19 and 19 in conference play. Very disappointing year for them. All right, first round begins tomorrow, Wednesday, March 9th, 3 o'clock Eastern, 12 o'clock Pacific on the Pac-12 Network. You have 8-seed Arizona State and 9-seed Stanford. Um, Stanford, um, they have a balanced team led by Spencer Jones at 11 a game and Jaden Dallaire and Harrison Ingram at each 10.5 per game. Zona State, disappointing year. Um, six guys averaging double figures per game, though, led by DJ Horn at 12.2 points per game. They also got Jay Heath at 10.5. Marion Jackson at 10.3. Kimai Lawrence at 10.2. Jalen Graham at 10.1. And Marcus Bagley at 10. My projection, though, is Zona State by 1 and 8, total 133 and 110. So I have Zona State advancing to the quarterfinals. Second of four, first round games 12 seed Oregon State, 5 seed Oregon. Oregon State, it's crazy to think that this team made like the regional final last year. They're in the Elite Eight. Two guys averaging double figures a game Jared Lucas at 13 2 and Deshaun Davis at 11. The Ducks, very disappointing year for them, too. Um, Three guys averaging double figures a game. Will Richardson at 14-1. Jacob Young at 11 and a half. And Devion Harmon at 10-9. My projection is Ducks by 12 and 3 quarters, so 143 and 9 tenths. So I have the Ducks moving on. Third of four first round games. 10 seed Cal, 7 seed Washington State. Cal, um, two guys averaging double points, double figure points per game. Jordan Shepard at 14 and a half and Andre Kelly at 13-4. Wazoo. Um, three guys averaging double-digit points per game. Michael Flowers at 14.2. Tyrell Roberts at 10.8. And Noah Williams at 10.5. Projection, Wazoo by 7, total 133 and 920th. So, therefore, I have... The Cougars moving on. In the last of four first-round games, 11-seed Utah, 6-seed Washington. Utah, disappointing year. Only one player averaging double-digit points per game, and it is the big man, Brandon Carlson, at 13 in game. And Washington um, has a really good scorer on their team, and Terrell Brown Jr. at 21.7 points per game. I met Matthews Jr. isn't bad either at 11.7 points per game. My projection is Washington by 3 and an eighth, total 141 and 7 tenths. So I have the Huskies moving on. All right, quarterfinals, Thursday, March 10th, 3 o'clock Eastern, 12 o'clock Pacific on the Pac 12 network. 8 seed Arizona State and 1 seed Arizona. Uh, Zona, very loaded this year. 
Four guys averaging double-digit points per game, led by Benedict Mothrin at 17.3 points per game. They also got Azulas Tubelas at 14.7 a game. Christian Coloco, the center, at 11.8 points per game. And Kirk Risa at 10.1 points per game. My projection is Zona by 11, so therefore I have Zona advancing. Second of four quarterfinal games, five seed Oregon, four seed Colorado. Um, Colorado is a decent team, too. Three guys averaging double-digit points per game, led by Jabari Walker at 14.7 points per game. Evan Batty at 12.2, and Keyshawn Barthemily at 11. Projection is Oregon by 1 and 5 8, so therefore I have the Ducks advancing. Three of four quarterfinal games, 17 Washington State and 2 seed UCLA. UCLA is really, really good. Obviously, Johnny Juzang at 16.7 points per game. Jamie Jacquez Jr. at 13.3. Jules Bernard at 12.3, and Tiger Campbell at 11.7 points per game. My projection is UCLA by 8 and 3 8, so therefore I have the Bruins advancing. In the last of four quarter final games, 6 seed Washington and 3 seed USC. Um, USC's kind of fallen off a little bit. Four guys averaging double figures per game, though. Isaiah Mobley at 14, 6 points and 8.5 boards. Drew Peterson at 12.5 points and 3.4 assists. Boogie Ellis at 12.2, the former Memphis player, and Chavez Goodwin at 11.3. Projections Trojan, Trojans by 11, so therefore I have the Trojans in the semifinals. And that game's going to be on Fox Sports 1, actually. And then two semifinal games on March 11th. The first game's going to be on Pac-12 Network at 6 o'clock Pacific, 9 Eastern. Five-seed five, feet, five seat Oregon and one-seed Arizona. Um... I think this is going to be a good game. It's a good rivalry. I think Dana Alton's team will show up the play. I think Richardson will put up some points. But I just think Zona is better, led by Mothrin, Tabellas, Coloco, and Carissa. I have them projected as a 5 and 7 eighths point favorite, so therefore I have the Wildcats to the championship. In the second of two semifinal games, this one's going to be on Fox Sports 1, 3 CD USC, and 2 CD UCLA. This game's going to be played at... 11.30 p.m. Eastern, 8.30 p.m. Pacific. Um, I think Mobley's really good. He's a double-double guy, but I think Jazang's better. And I think he's a big game player. I have UCLA projected as a 3 8 favorite, so therefore I have UCLA to the championship. And everybody's dream championship, 2 seed UCLA, 1 seed Arizona, Saturday, March 12th, 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific on Fox. My projection here is Zona by one and a quarter. I just think Zona's better. It feels like they're a year, led by Mithorin. I think Mithorin and Jazang against each other is going to be fun. But I think that Zona will get it done, led by Mithorin, as I have them getting the auto bid in the Pac-12. And I have them projected as a one and a quarter favorite, but I didn't mention that already. All right, UCLA, I think, will be an at-large team. I can see them in that, like, 5-6 range. If they win the Pac-12 tournament, I can see them moving up. And in Arizona, um, I think it's a no-brainer for a one seed unless it loses in the semifinals or quarterfinals. And the Trojans, I think, will be a 9 or a 10, depending on how the brackets break. And there could be a bid stealer in here. It could be like an Oregon or Colorado as a bid stealer. Or dare I say Arizona State if things break the way that they would like it to. But I doubt it. But yeah, so three teams from the Pac-12 I have in the tournament this year, which really is doesn't sound great on the surface. All right, so there you have it for the Pac-12 um, tournament projections. Now I'm going to go through odds. Um... Sona's so minus 135, UCLA plus 270, USC 6-1, to one, Oregon 12-1, to one, Wazoo 30-1, to one, Colorado 45-1, to one, Zona State 90-1, to one, Stanford's 100, Utah's 150, and the rest are 500. Oregon State, Wazoo, or Washington and Cal. Um, if I had to pick a surprise team to win this conference tournament, and I'm going to say because of an elite score in this conference in Terrell Brown Jr. I think that Washington could be a really sneaky pick to win this tournament. 
at 501. I know it's crazy. But they're not that terrible. If you have a great score, then you can hang with anybody. So, Washington's the super-duper-duper-duper long shot pick. 500 to 1, which is wild. And my actual pick will be Arizona. As I have them... um, As uh, the pick, the win... And they're minus 135, as I mentioned, on FanDuel. All right, next up's another good one. The SEC. 